it's a lovely Saturday morning here at Carl's Auto Collective. We've got our lovely MX-5 Curo edition in the unit right here. We had a phone call about, a, about an hour ago. People want to travel about three hours to come and come and see the car, which is uh, good to hear. Obviously, fans thought it was a good looking example. So that's all clean. And we just had another phone call. Someone wants to come and see the Clio Sport. So we got them booked in for right afterwards. We've already had one viewing this morning as well on the Mini John Cooper Works. So all in all, it's been a busy day. Hopefully we'll make, uh, make a few sales. All right, I've just got back from Tesco, took the Clio, give it a little run, load it up with some fresh bottles of water, and have those to offer to customers. Went for, the went for the meal deal. The Mexican inspired chicken grains salad, the natural protein pack bar, and sparkling water. This is a meal deal of champions. All right, that's our customer water supply topped up. We're gonna get a fridge in here at some point. Still a bit of a work in progress getting all of this uh, this area done. We're getting there though. So, fill the bucket. Time to give this Clio a bit of a wash. Lots of people want to come and see it after the appointment on the MX-5. So, let's get this Clio cleaned up. Clean Clio. I'm gonna give you a little tour of this car. It is absolutely lovely. Of course, it might be gone after today, so it'll be the last chance to. It's a Glacier White Clio 200 Cup Pack. It's absolutely lovely. 99,000 on the clock. I had the gearbox re rebuilt at Beanie Sport. Obviously, a very common thing that needs doing on these Clios is the gearbox due to the synchros. Speedline alloy wheels. It's lovely. These cars look so good in white. White with those black contrasting bits. Red brake calipers as well. That is part of the cut pack. It is just awesome. Love the yellow rev dial. Very sporty. Pioneer digital radio in this one. The Barrow Sport steering wheel. Insert there. What a lovely car. It is almost stock as well, which you don't see very often. It's only got lowering springs. I absolutely love this. I'll miss it a bit, to be honest, if it does go today. As well as this MX-5. What a car, 17,000 miles. Puro, very rare, limited edition. What a car. I'd be very surprised if this isn't, isn't gone today. So, next up, we've got the people coming to see the MX-5. Update you after then. So it's now 4.28 in the afternoon. Had all of the customers come in that were planned to be here. MX-5 is gone, it is no longer here. Sold and taken away, about a three hour trip back home. For them now, the right cars are worth traveling for, of course. Other cars we have viewings on today, hopefully we'll get some answers pretty soon but for the time being now just have some more food now it's time to hitch the trailer up and we're off to buy another mx5 so we're in the mighty kia sorento they are a wonderful tow car. It's a very good value for money tow car, to be fair. Uh, we've got about a 45 minute drive now over to where the uh, customer's car is. So it's a previous customer of ours. We sold him this MX-5. Um, only, only months ago, but um, circumstances change. He decided it's best time to sell the car now. So we're also more than happy to make a deal and get one of our old cars back again. It is an absolutely lovely one as well. Super, super clean, two litre hard top version. So yeah, let's get on the road, let's get this car. Back at base, 
Chase, 7:23 p.m. It's been a, a bit of a long day. Got got into uh, got into the yard at about half eight this morning. We've got plenty done, and really really happy with this purchase here. So I'm going to get it unloaded and give you a bit of a proper tour of it. nearly half a tank of fuel. How lovely is that? Always nice when I don't have to go to the fuel station. Yeah, really, really lovely customer that uh, we dealt with with this car. I'm sure that we'll see him back again at some point in the future. I think that's about all for today. We're gonna be heading home now, get this car in for a health check on Monday. I think it's, it's gonna fly through. It flew through when we first put it in and it'll, it'll fly through again. So I've got absolutely no worries at all with this car. Tomorrow's quite an exciting day, off to pick up a modified Renault Sport Megane. I'm a big fan of those cars, as many will know. And uh, this is going to be a high spec, forged engine build, very excited. So, you know, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow when we go and get that car. So it's about 10am Sunday morning. This is going to be our lift to the train station, the extremely powerful new electric MG. So this should uh, be an experience, apparently it's got like 400 odd horsepower. Definitely going to be interesting. Let's see what it's like. So apparently this thing has track mode. Where can I find this? Drive mode. Sport. Is that the track mode? So I'll put it in sport and then across here, track mode. <laughs> Brilliant, that's so unnecessary. <laughs> oh my, what the hell? <laughs> this car has absolutely no right to be this fast. It flies, absolutely flies. 440 <laughs> brake horsepower. Four wheel drive, this thing shifts. That is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely no right. Why does, an, why does an MG do this? It's addictive. <laughs> it's addictive. It don't get old, not very quickly. Um, and how much of the range is that used? <laughs> uh, that's used 10 miles of range. <laughs> 10 miles of range. Electric cars. So, here is the car up to Durham to get this long old journey train was a nightmare as they as they often are let's give a little quick tour of this car it's gonna be very windy so please excuse that but have a look at this so 2010 began 250 cup team dynamics 1.3 wheels part of the sport falls all around as well it's got a forged engine build 340 horsepower It looks relatively stock, which I quite like. Just black badges, black trims, wheels obviously. Inside has been a relatively, well, I've got anything completely standard. There's also LED bulbs, and that's about it. It sounds really good. It's got a bit of work to the exhaust system. It sounds absolutely insane, and it is fast, it is very, very fast. So I've got about 170 mile trip back home now. Let's get on the road. Uh, so, long drive over, long drive over. We got um, 30 mpg out of the Forge Megane, which I'm slightly annoyed about because it does better on fuel than my Clio Sport does. But, oh well. So um, come back to the yard now because we've got a deal confirmed on the Mini John Cooper Works. So what time's it now? 7.43 p.m. And I've got this chap coming to get the Mini John Cooper works. He's got an interesting part X. So I'm going to go inside the unit now, get the paperwork prepped, and he should also be here pretty shortly. <laughs> <laughs> 